Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Gold. I think I started that, started saying that a little bit early, but who cares? Last time, we actually got our total out. Now we're gonna start head, set up, uh, head off, and meet Mr. Pokemon. So, so if you guys don't know about Pokemon, as seen right here, if you go into the tall grass, you can get into random wild battles. So, I just have a Pidgey right here that I'm battling, and I got Crackajack. He's level five, as Excuse me, always. And, um. So, yeah. So, I'll scratch this Pidgey. These first few fights are gonna take a little bit. And I'm kinda not looking forward to that, but, you know. Whatever. It happens. And I wish that I could speed this up, but I know that you guys don't wanna see sped up stuff. I mean, you know, you guys might want to. You know, or skipped battles, but you know what? I won't. And I will try to use repel repels um, whenever. But you know, I know if you guys do want me to skip stuff, I mean, I or fast forward or whatever through battles like wild battles and stuff. You guys can tell me that, but like I, I don't, I won't do it unless somebody tells me that they don't want to see all the battles. So. I will not cut them out because it is part of the game. You will get into battles. So here's a Sentret. Not the best Pokemon, but it is actually pretty good once you get it to Frit or whatever. Um, but right now, it's actually a bad Pokemon. So I'm not going to... Well, I can't catch it right now anyway because I don't have any Pokeballs. But yeah. So Crackajack actually has an orange berry on him. Or a berry, just a normal berry. That it will be useful. And I was kind of hoping that I would use that during the rival battle that you will have to do later but for now on this center is fine even though we got a critical hit on the last second but whatever so we did level up to level six which is actually gonna be awesome because we do need to get we do need to gain levels because we will need to learn really another one we will need to learn new attacks of course it's another Pidgey level three so to should take a little bit I will probably end up actually starting to speed these up and I, I will try not to, but I might have to, because these are going to get really long, but, whatever, I guess I can get longer episodes then, so, alright, so there's a 23 experience points just for beating that Pidgey, but it's all good, alright, so now we're in Cherry Grove, I believe it is, you see this guy right here, you can actually skip this guy, but if you take his tour, which, which um, he will show you right now. Um, which he will show you right now. There is actually he will show you this, and then he'll give you a thing when you're done. So something that will be in your Poké Gear that you don't have right now, which is the town map. Um, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I know that it give, he gives you the running shoes as well, but I don't really need running shoes right now, considering. Um, considering, well, I mean, I don't really, I want the running shoes, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, you know, it's fine, you don't get the running shoes in this game anywhere, and then this is this guy's house, like, I don't know why he told, showed us his house, but, and then he gave us the town map, or the map card, um, that will be coming in, you, or, bah, that will come in use, come, become useful later on. Um, when I don't know where to go, because half the time I don't know where to go in this game, so, yeah. Alright, so we'll go to left, or right here, because up here is actually where Mr. Pokemon's house is. I meant to heal up, but I believe Mr. Pokemon heals you up, and if he doesn't, we can just run up there at any time. So, so we got another Pidgey right here. It's only level 2, we should take it on about 2 hits, maybe, so. That should be nice. Cracker Jack is gonna scratch this Pidgey and maybe <laughs> that was basically in half. Um, so take a little bit more. Scratch him again, and he is actually gone in two hits. I was actually right. Okay, 15 experience, not the best experience yet, but it's just a level level two Pidgey, so it's fine. So what do we got now? So we got a Caterpie. Caterpie uh, sucks, but no, it's cool couple scratches should do the trick here. Ah, 
one. Maybe about three, maybe two. I would say three or four, maybe. Nah, probably four. Alright, so we beat that Caterpie. We got 30 experience, which means we got to level 7. Um, which is going to be good. I think we get Rage. Yes, we learned Rage. Rage skills every time you use it. Um, I think. I, I don't actually remember what Rage does, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Hello, you must be Zane. So this is actually Professor po er, uh, Mr. Pokemon. His massive discovery was a stupid egg. That we will hatch because they, Professor Elm give it gives it back to us later on, or one of his aides do so. Yeah, you guys will see what that is later. And so then we got Professor Oak all running up to us in his pedophile ways. I'm just like, bro, get off me. And he's like, I oh, like man. And I was like, okay. No, basically right now he's just saying, hey, you're good with your Pokemon. And he's going to actually give us, um, give us a, give us a thing, which is actually called the Pokedex. If you guys don't know what the Pokedex is, it actually records all your caught and seen Pokemon into this huge, like, encyclopedia. So it's pretty cool. Um, then he leaves to Goldenrod, where his radio show is, and then this guy's like, Hey, you should have some rest. I don't know what he's doing to me, but whatever. I'm depending on you. I, I, I. And then, then in Professor Elm's pedophile ways, he's like, "Hello, hello. It's a disaster. Somebody must have did something to the place." So, let's go see what's going on over there. And there's actually a tree thing up here, which gives us what poison cure area. All right, that's cool. So. And we'll just head off and then I'll probably end the video in back in Cherry Grove City so some of these videos are gonna be shorter than others and then some of them are gonna try to be longer so yeah so we got a Caterpie right here we should take him out in about three hits again I could actually use rage but rage is actually a weak attack until you get it to actually where it does I'll show you what rage does all right so let's use rage As you see, Rage did a little bit of damage. If we don't miss, it'll keep scaling. So let's try that again. Another string shot, uh, which failed, but whatever. And see, now it does. Oh wait, does, does, did it scale? I don't even know. And he's gonna tackle us like an idiot, and uh, my Rage is building, and I use Rage again, and it does a lot of damage, and that's how. You kill Caterpies. All right, we'll start heading back down here. There's actually um, this guy right here, which is actually it, it, he, um, he gives you a berry. He's basically like the berry man, like kind of like the ice cream man of Pokemon. And he gives you a berry. There's actually a tree outside that you can get a berry from too. I think it's like a paralyzed key, he, yeah, paralyzed gear berry or something. Maybe I don't know. Not it's just a normal berry, which means I will. I'm, now, just to do this, I'm actually going to take, go to my pack real quick, maybe not, okay, go to my pack real quick, and I'm actually going to go to berries, and I'm actually going to give one to Cracker Jack, just so that I feel a little bit safer uh, for Cracker Jack, Cracker Jack, not Cracker Jack, alright, then we'll start heading down here, and these things right here, they're actually like ledges, you can actually hop down them, um, so yeah. And we are back in Cherry Grove, so I'm going to heal up the Pokemon Center. And then I'll end the video here. So, yeah. So, if you guys don't know what the Pokemon Center is, it basically heals you. Um, yeah, that, that's it. It heals all six Pokemon in your party. So, there you go with that. And next time, we'll start heading back to Professor Elm's lab. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out.